Welcome to another episode of Auto Tech Talk, where we will be talking about all things automotive. Transition to electrically powered vehicles is the most immediate trend in the industry, focusing the minds of the traditional OEMs and attracting investment in new vehicle makers. What we did together, um, BMW came to us and asked for us, okay, we want to have a software supporting us and really um, managing everything around a big laboratory. Um, so when we talk about data handling, you can imagine 3,000 channels running all the time, creating a lot of data. As the ADAS systems with camera and radar and LiDAR now are put in place, those are going to require higher resolution, which will increase the speed and the bandwidth for, that's required from the in-vehicle network. This is what we are actually suggesting with the radar scene emulator. We do want to enable the automotive OEMs to train and test radar sensor algorithms to interpret the radar signals received by recreating real life and complex scenarios in the lab before going on the road. Uh, when you have a huge warehouse with many different cells uh, that need to be stored professionally, um, you cannot work with an Excel spreadsheet. So um, I think without an automation or a lab management software, uh, testing cells would be almost too difficult to manage. I would recommend for everybody to step a moment back and think about the usage of your car today, of your normal combustion engine, how many kilometers you really make a day, um, and we'll find out if a car might make four or 500 kilometers with one charge of a battery, might be sufficient for almost every situation in your daily life. So welcome to our show.